Hey everybody, it's Tracy from Crochet by Granny T. Um, I know this is kind of uh, new for me and for y'all on my page. I don't normally uh, do videos. My, my lighting in the house is horrible. I really don't have a place very... Uh, I don't have a place really set up for videos, but you know what? I <clears throat> kind of found, found me a corner and tucked myself in and uh, let's go for it. Why not? <laughs> All right. I just wanted to kind of share um, a few things that I have off of the hook and a couple things that I have on my hook. And first, right here in front of me, <clears throat> I am working on a crocheted uh, hat brim. Whoops, sorry. It's kind of in a, a rib stitch and it's real flexy, flexible. This yarn is really super soft and smooth and yeah, the colors are really vibrant. I love, I love, love, love the colors of this yarn. Um, it is called um, Yarn Bee. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Of course, since that's really the only place we have to get yarn these days, other than Walmart in our area, we don't have a very large variety, anyhow. But this is really nice. It's Yarn Bee, it's glowing, and the colorway is called Shopping Spree. But as you can see, it has really vibrant colors. The hat that I am working on, the brim, is going to be, uh, I like to call it a semi-slouchy hat. It's not like real um, elaborate. It's its not a large slouch. It's, as I called it, a semi-slouch. Um, it's a pattern I've come up with on my own. Um, none of them are the same. I mean, despite the different color yarn, my, I say my pattern, I just, I just work as I go, you know, I mean, uh, I get done with a round and if I feel like doing a different stitch, I'm, I'm going to do a different stitch and it's just kind of, uh, like I am kind of all over the place. Um, but the one I'm working on will be similar to this one here. But it's just, like I said, it's just semi-slouchy. Um, I, I, I don't know. During the winter time, I like to have my hair. I mean, it, winter time, summer time, it don't matter. I don't want my hair down on my neck. It's too hot. Or, or during the winter time, it just irritates me being, um, you know, in a jacket, in a hat, and or a scarf. And I just, I don't know. I just probably need to cut it off because, as you can see, it's uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> but anyway, that's beside the point. That's a whole nother story up here. But anyway, <laughs> COVID hair, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, go natural or, or diet. That's, that's kind of uh, where I'm at right now. I'm not sure what I want to do. But like I said, another story, another time. Let's get over that one. Um... But as you can see, that, that, that yarn is like, the colors are so vibrant and, and so pretty. It's like, I love it. Okay, but let me talk about this hat for a moment. Okay, right here where this, this pink is in the very center of the, or in the very back of the hat. Um, I will be crocheting and, uh, and applique to attach here to take up this space right here and these hats I'm calling them um, now you see it now you don't because you know if you have a day you want your patch to show you let your patch show I guess I don't know but then if you if you don't want it to it's it the hat is completely reversible and it com looks different okay let me show you this side there's kind of ribs here and there and it's just uh not uniformed at all you know i mean i i don't go by the rules <clears throat> i know there are a lot of ladies who uh, that would just drive nuts but you know what it keeps life interesting to me why uh why not that's what i say but anyhow um you can turn around and set out if you don't want your patch to show 
and you can it still looks good I mean it's it's like having two hats in one um, let me stick it back on the styrofoam and let you see it uh, turn actually wrong side out oh get head butted in the head by a styrofoam head that's my luck <laughs> but oh well let's see and just kind of pull it down a little bit flatten it out however you want it see and it just kind of falls into place I think they're really really super cute and then but they I, I really like them um, I like that they're not the same that they're all uh, different in their own way and unique just like we are um, I do have a few more actually already made up I can show them to you real quick that's in a completely different colorway and um, forgive me because I, I will not know the name of these yarns sorry about my squeaky uh, star foam this one here is a little bit larger or actually it's same size around in the head but uh, the slouch on this one here is more elaborate and um, but it too yeah see and the colors in this one is really vibrant too it can you know be uh, I guess unisexed you know for him or her good for everybody but yeah see it has a, it has a large so if you have like a lot of hair that you want to tuck away in your hat you will have plenty of room in this one sorry that the star foam on this is like super white so it's it's uh almost blinding in a way um i'm not sure how this one here might end up maybe with a I don't know maybe I was gonna say maybe with a pom-pom but I don't know maybe it'll just be as it is I'm not sure um, I don't I don't think the patch would look actually let's turn it just a little bit maybe it's just how I had it folded and stacked up in there where no I'm not sure if the patch will do right on this one here or not so I don't know I might do um, a larger pom-pom on it or Maybe just leave it as it is. I'm not sure. Let's see what it looks like um, wrong side out. I kind of like it wrong side out better. Even though there are... I didn't even show you the texture on this one. My uh, camera is a little bit glitchy. I'm not sure. I'm recording on the, uh, the just the little Chrome notebook thing. So, you know, it may not be very well. Yeah, you can see the ribs in it. A bit, actually a little bit more than what you did the first one but there's it's considered the right side and then let's flip it on wrong side out I don't know that's that's just what they I don't know in crochet world the wrong side and the right side I just don't I think they're both the right side just because I, that's just me I like I like both sides anyhow uh, um, it, like I said, two hats in one, actually, because this side looks good, too. You know, I mean, it's it don't have the ridges in it like the reverse side on there, but, you know, hey, I like it. I like it just as well. There's a little bit of red in this one and uh, kind of like a, a mossy green color and then the turquoise, but, yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting yarn. I, I really like it but like I said this one here is a little bit more elaborate more slouch if you have more hair that you want to cram up into it this one this one will be great all right let's see I have a couple more that I'll show you real fast all right this this yarn here um, that I'm fixing to show it may be um, by yarn B as well um, I don't have a label in here with me but it is a really pretty yarn again sorry about the squeaking it's like I remember when I was little my mom it would drive her crazy would go to the grocery store or whatever and you know the the sorrowful med cartons 
would just rattle in the back seat. She was just like, she couldn't stand it. It was crazy. And I'm sorry if my eyes are like everywhere, but I'm not really sure on where I uh, should be focusing. Anyway, I'm learning. Here it is. <clears throat> this one here is in more of a, a lighter color. It's, I kind of want to say it's pastel. Maybe y'all would call it pastel. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but for some reason, I want to call this afterglow. I'm, I'm, don't, no, no, no. I'm not even going to say it because I'm not really sure. Once I do find the, uh, yarn label on it, I'll let you know if you, if you're interested. But, uh, this one here is again, not, you know, not so... You know, it's just a semi-slouch, but I think it's great. And you can see the texture on it, the ridges. Let's check it out, um, wrong side out, or right side in. How do you want to look at it? <laughs> I know, I like it all. I like it. It's really soft. The yarn is like so soft and it's kind of smooth in a way. But I'm sure it, I mean, it is all 100% acrylic, which, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but this yarn, it kind of has a blue, I apologize again for my lighting, but it kind of has a purple and a blue, a yellow, an orange, and a green, um, like a burnt orange even. I wish you could see it better. Let me, let me, uh check something real fast. I have a little ring light here that it might make it too bright. Let's just see. I would just like you to see the the actual color of his hat. No. I don't really think mm, mm, nope. Nope. It's not going to work. Anyway, you get the idea. Right. Alright, and then I also made one in camouflage, just a regular, it's uh, excuse me, sorry. It's just the regular Red Heart, it's the Red Heart acrylic, just a Red Heart Super Saver uh, camouflage. Because who, I don't know, where, where I live at, um, you know, women go hunting here just like the men do. Um, and I don't know about them, like, you know, all the other ladies out there, but, you know, if I was out in the woods, why not wear a, a camel slouchy? <laughs> Tuck your hair up under, keep them, uh, tree limbs out of your hair and, and the ticks and, you know, and I don't know. I think they're cute. I just, uh, I really like them. They're comfy. Um, during the winter time, I wear hats pretty much every day. And uh, I'll flip this one wrong side out. That way you can see. Oh, you know what? I think, I don't know. Both sides of this one is textured. So, I mean, but they're not, it's, they're, it's different. One side. Sorry. Squeaky. And once again, I'm not sure if I'll put a patch on this one or not. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know. Um, why don't you all leave me a, a comment down below and let me know what you think. You know, with a uh, patch or no patch. This one here, probably not. If I do, maybe... I don't maybe a patch using a reflective type yarn that way you know and deer season comes along you know any type of hunting season to where you have to have like a an orange or you know something to catch other people's eyes um I don't know I don't know it just may stay camouflage or maybe put a happy face patch on it that'd be kind of cute I guess anyhow let's see um I have a uh, an ear warmer, I guess you could say, but I did it out of um, 
another really pretty yarn that I don't have the label to. But I did it in a chevron stitch. I really like the colors in this too. Um, <clears throat> put it on the mannequin. The art mannequin. She's back in the bedroom. Anyway, stick it on the star from head. And it would cover your ears. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is kind of scratchy. No, I'm not sick. I just have a scratchy throat. I need to rehydrate. I need some water. Had me some coffee and some tea today and I haven't had any water yet. But anyway, this is really cute. That way if you uh, don't actually want to wear a full-blown hat and just want something to, you know, keep over your ears, these uh, ear warmers headbands whatever you want to call them are really nice this here one is really pretty too it's out of a lion brand yarn and it's really soft I did this one in a trellis a trellis stitch it's uh, cables and it's as you can tell it's um, a little bit wider Lulu, you're fine. Sorry, my puppy is um, in her pen and hearing me talking, and so she wants out. <clears throat> but not right now. I may put her out on the porch if she don't stop that whining up, though. All right, let's stick it on here. Oh, again, squeaks. See, this one here is a little bit more, you know, thick. Or, you know... It's larger, <clears throat> but it's really good to, uh, you can put your hair through and then pull it down. It's, it's, it does the job. It's, I really like it. And I also made a scarf out of the same yarn. It's just a short, it's just a small scarf. It's narrow. I guess maybe like a pencil scarf. It's just narrow, but I actually, um, made this using um, a Tunisian crochet which I did it which way did I go yeah I went <clears throat> I, I did a big old long chain the length of the scarf and because I received these uh, Tunisian crochet hooks that are on these long cable so I was just curious on, and I don't know the size. It is a larger, I apologize, I have no clue. It was the first thing I've actually legitly made out of the Tunisian crochet, and uh, it didn't turn out too bad. Of course, practice, practice, I need to practice. But uh, it's kind of like a crochet, slash knitting because you are um, you make your chain and you run back through all of your chain that you made just just made it and hang on just a second I apologize